Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 25th, and today was a surprisingly cold day. It didn't really warm up much, it got up to like 10 or something like that, it just really was a crappy, cold feeling day. We, have, we had some nice warm days, we got like distracted, we got encouraged that spring was right around the corner, and it's nowhere near that yet. They're calling for, I think a negative of like two or three today and a possibly negative like 10 actual degrees not like wind chill negative wind chill is like 19 i think tonight and then we've got like negative 30s coming up next tuesday i think it is so definitely um not enjoying this weather right now um we had like i said we had some nice days we got in the 50 i think degree temperature range and now we're back in the single digits for highs that sucks so definitely was not a fun day for that wise i got a few things around here done um, just really kind of felt off like all day today. Everything about me, just my whole body, nothing really seemed to want to function right. My mind kind of even felt a little hazy. It was a really weird day. Um, ended up heading up to the gym, um, went by, and actually on the way to the gym, went by and picked up a new headlight for the car. The ones I bought for off eBay, I got the whole housing and the light bulbs came with it, which I didn't think they were going to, so I thought it was like a nice surprise. But they are so dim, like I literally couldn't see to drive home in the dark there at night. Luckily it was just here in town. My turn signals were brighter than my headlights were. So that's got to be replaced. I just bought one bulb to see if that was it or if there's something else screwed up somewhere with the way the housing's set up. It's one of the weird designs to the light bulb just shining straight out. Hits a little cone, reflects back off the back, and then goes back out forward. And I'm not sure if that's just a bad design or what. So I didn't want to buy... Two new light bulbs found it's just that right there was the bad housing was the problem. So I'm going to pull the bulb out, see how bright it is without the um, housing, just kind of out on its own. Depending on how it works, I'll put the new light bulb in, see if it helps any. I might have to throw the whole housing and all away and just go back to a factory OEM parks. This was an aftermarket, um, basically kind of a knockoff brand of it, but it was like a, the SHO Taurus one instead of the regular Taurus. And don't know what the issue is, but I'll get it figured out. My, like I said, I went to buy new housings, but luckily I found out. I don't. I didn't think really anything about it. I kind of thought it looked a little bit dim, but I was getting ready to head to a Tumwa over the weekend with it, and then I didn't go for some reason with the car. Thank goodness, because I wouldn't have been able to drive home with it. Like it literally would have been like driving by my turn signals only. I would have had to either spend the night in Tumwa or like have it towed home. There was like no way I could have possibly drove the way those headlights are, and hopefully the light bulb that I got. 10 bucks where it was, I think like that will fix the problem. If not, I'm gonna do more. But now with the cold weather's coming, I'm not sure if I'll just like use it as a town car around daytime, because I do not feel like being out there this cold trying to change out the lights. I think I gotta pull the whole casing back out to change the bulb out. Giant pain in the butt, but I'll look at it tomorrow real quick. If it's not too cold, and if I can get to it, I'll try it. If I can't, I'll have to wait till it warms up again, which might be a week or two away. So at least a good solid week, maybe two weeks away. Unless I find a shot to pull it into, which really not that big a deal. I'll drive the van more, drive it around town here, and save a little fuel that way is the only real reason I've got the car out. I prefer my van, honestly. Bruce likes it a lot better. Um, I kind of like feeling setting up higher, all that kind of good stuff too. But the car is so damn much cheaper to drive. I figure I can get a use in it. I did get up to the gym today. Um, my trainee wanted to, uh, wanted to go out for like a walk run thing. She was kind of acting all crappy and shitty today. I don't know what her problem was. Um, kind of called her on her shit and then she settled down a little bit in the process. But I just like, I'm really doing you a favor here. It's not like you're paying me. It's not like this is a job for me and crap. You need to get your head out of your ass. And she calmed down, she calmed down a little bit. And then I decided as a punishment, I didn't really tell her it was a punishment. I decided I was gonna make her run the whole thing instead of run walk. So I basically told her to pick a pace that she could run the whole loop in. And she took off a little too fast. I slowed her down a little bit. She didn't make it very far at all. And she wussed out and started walking. And I started calling her shit. I'm like, hey, come on, move it, move it. You know, get your ass moving. I said, you're not going any slower. You just think you feel like you're walking. So says her walk is pretty fast and her run was super slow. So I made her run. Um, she didn't make it very much farther at all. She pushed out again and tried to walk. So I kind of really chewed her ass and let her know this isn't how it's going to go. And then she finished the rest up, which was probably, I'm going to guess three quarters of a mile, if I'm just guesstimating it, was basically straight running. And it was not fast running. It worked out overall with the two walks and stuff in there even. She worked out to like a 12, 18 pace, which is like a fast walk pace. But 
I just try and tell her it's all mind right now. Your legs aren't the problem. It's your mind that's the problem. So I'm working on fixing that. So hopefully tomorrow there might be a chance we might get back out. I don't know how cold it is, um, if she's going to want to go out or not. And who knows, we'll see. But after I got dropped her back off at the gym there, uh, went out for my own little run. And I kind of technically 12, 18 counts as a mile run outside. Wanted to go ahead and do another loop on my own, another mile. Went ahead and knocked it out. And it was so cold and I was running a little faster and stuff. Not a lot faster, but the wind had picked up a lot. And by the time I got back, I, I didn't realize it when I was out running. I got back and my head was just on fire. My head was absolutely killing me. I like so bad the fact that I almost felt like I was losing focus in my eyes. Like I couldn't really focus in the whole thing. Almost like I was low blood sugar or some crap. I don't know. It was weird as crap. Um, head still hurting from it. I got home, got some food in me, got a Mountain Dew in me, that kind of thing. Um, just thought I'd try, you know, maybe caffeine deficiency or something there too. I don't know. But it absolutely kicked my ass. So I'm hoping to go ahead and get some sleep tonight. I haven't been sleeping real well as of late, but hopefully I'm going to take some um, pain pills and I'm going to take the ibuprofen, like nighttime thing. Hopefully that'll help put me down a little bit and get some better rest. So that's really all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.